call you on the phone saying, hey, oh, well, can you, or I need help with this. But like, and then the more the story went on, I was like, man, she using you. Keep on. I said, I said, listen, pay attention to the patterns. Keep on, keep on. And then what she did, and then let me tell you what she did. She said, oh, well, I didn't want it for nothing. I just want to, I just wanted, I just wanted you to send it to make me feel good. What? Hello? He, listen, he did not need a motherfucking appointment with me to know that. He's just in denial because he still wants to be with the girl for whatever reason. Y'all be sitting up there doing stupid shit. Like I said, y'all will sit up here and keep on throwing money away, right? But the, what, listen, when I need support, when I ask for support, y'all sit up there and look at me like I'm fucking stupid, right? But then y'all be calling me and, and, and thinking that I'm supposed to just get on the phone. Like a lot of people think that I'm supposed to do stuff for free. Y'all be thinking I'm supposed to do calls for free. I'm supposed to do counseling and sessions for free. Absolutely not. Why? I was doing this before social media. I'm a certified counselor, okay? And also besides, even if I didn't have a piece of paper attached to me, the, the whole simple fact is that the value that I carry, like it's, it's priceless. What I carry is priceless. The wisdom I give y'all is priceless. You, you can go back fucking years. You can go back almost four years on this platform alone and other platforms even, even further, and you can get that encouragement there for free. But when it comes to a one-on-one, -on -one, do, you, do you realize how much my time is limited y'all so when i take time out i'm, I'm telling you when i take time out it, it's 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 valuable okay it's very valuable because my my time is like i, I don't out listen but yeah so so guys you have to understand that some of these women are only there they're only there for the material things. They're there for the trips. They're there for you to take them out. They're there for you to buy them bags. They're there for, there for you to get their hair and their nails done. They're there for, for the random cash app requests, okay? They are there only for your pockets and your wallet, and they don't give a shit about you. The fact that this person said, oh, I just wanted, I just, I was just doing, I just wanted it to make me feel good, huh? So my money, mm, 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 mm. I appreciate you, Ty. I appreciate you. Um, so, so, so what you're telling me is that the, um, the, uh, you're there for his wallet and, and, and for his pockets, but yet you don't care about him. Cause if you cared about him, if you cared about him, then you would be trying to get to know him. That's what a lot of these, a lot of y'all fail to realize y'all start out and y'all be trying to buy people's love, buy people's attention. You need to, guys, some of y'all need to fix y'all shit first. You need, you shouldn't even be dating right now. You shouldn't be with, with nobody right now because you try to purchase love from that bitch. You try to purchase love from her because you never had it. You try to pur purchase uh, that nurturing effect from her. You try to purchase what a woman really brings and therefore you are teaching her how to treat you. You're teaching her to always have her hand out like this because you got your mama wasn't there. Go fix yourself, guys. Stop thinking that you need to pay to play. Stop talk. Stop thinking that you need to pay to play. That's where a lot of y'all get it confused that y'all be talking, about, oh, well, they go diggers. They just no, but you'll be giving it to them. You'll be giving it to them. Stop being stupid. You'll be giving it to them. Y'all be giving it to them. So stop calling women gold diggers and stop calling women online prostitutes when you be giving it to them. Okay? Y'all be giving it to them. And be giving them dick. <laughs> Y'all be giving dick away for free too. Emmanuel, um, contact me on the number in my bio and we can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, seductive. Yeah, it's true. Tried. Y'all be giving it to him. <laughs> well, took said he charged. <laughs> hey, I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They'll never do that, the real. They'll never do that. Y'all be giving it to them. <laughs> men pay. Hold on. Hey, Kutcher, men paved the way. And so, let me see. Hey, okay. 
men pay the way some hate the way some women are most men will try to impress yeah they will try to trust with material things and this is another thing yeah with clout and yeah relationship status yeah absolutely this is another thing y'all was up there and I, I i i know this because i've been in the industry even before I, I i was doing this i was already in the industry i i i used to um uh manage artists and things of that nature I've, I've been heavy on the music scene for those of you that don't know muddy waters my great uncle uh, my grandma was an artist my grandma was a celebrity journalist so i've been on the scene for years so I, I like like i don't give a damn about what no artist like their name who they are like i treat everybody like with common respect you know what i mean so I, I so i've had people not knowing like who i am and what background i come from i've had people try to talk to me and they're like oh i know so and so they they just name drop and name bomb it's like i and i have and i'm and i'm outspoken y'all so i tell them like nicely of course with love of course with respect of course but i tell them, like if i like you i like you for you I don't care about who you know. I don't care about your status. I don't care about who you work with. I don't care about who your family is. Like, I don't care about nothing. Like, material stuff and, 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 and people's careers and their bank account and and, 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 and the credit that they have. It, it, I, that doesn't turn me on. That doesn't. I, what kind of person are you? What kind of person are you? Okay? I care about how you treat me and how what kind of person you are. Let me see how you treat other people around you. Let me see how you treat me. I don't give a damn about who you know. I don't care about your name. I've had artists. I can't. I can't tell you how many artists have tried to inbox me. I can't tell you how many people in the industry have tried to have tried to get with me. And it's like it, it's just a turnoff because you, they try to use that as leverage. And it's like, baby, I'm a human being just like you. Baby, you're not above me. You're not finna get this just because just because you think that you're, you know, you you're because of your name or because of your like your clout, like who you are. It don't make me no never mind. It don't make me no never mind. Like some of these people like are, are my family members and people I know, like people I can call on the phone and FaceTime right now. They go like it's it that that doesn't that doesn't attract me. It's actually a very big turnoff when they do that. Hi honey, how are you, babe? Black man's keeper in the building. Y'all make sure you follow her. Everybody in here go follow her right now. She's so dope. I love her wisdom. We gotta connect still, sis. She's so dope. I love her. Y'all make sure you follow her and, and much respect to you, sis. Um, I'm getting ready to get off of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on here. I love it. I love it. You the one I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um uh, I'm gonna get on here in a little while with my bro. We can talk about the project that we're working on. We're gonna talk about thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Uh we're gonna talk about thank y'all for the follows. I appreciate you and the hearts. Um we're going to talk about the project that we're working on. We're also going to talk about um, men as far as like your psychological state. A lot of men, like you guys, I told you I got on here right now because I've had like four different friends, four different guys reach out in the last 24 hours talking about they want to take themselves out. Like we, we, we got to see this thing through. We got to see other people through. We can't let them. We can't let them take themselves out, y'all. We can't we can't do it. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. I can't like like countless lives have been saved by by just me staying on the phone with them like we're not doing that. i've been doing this for years y'all i told y'all one day and this ain't about me it's about the assignments that i'm called to one day i stayed on the phone with this man for eight hours straight eight hours okay eight hours who are you showing up for who are you showing that that you care about them who are you showing that they actually matter Stop telling people that you care about them and that you love them and start showing up and, and, and being there for them in the moments when they do need you. Okay. I love y'all. I'm glad you're still here, Frederick. I love y'all. I will talk to y'all soon. I'm going to post this live too. All right, y'all. Y'all go check out my latest post. To, wait, did I post it? Oh, hold on. I'm about to post it right now. I was working on that when I got on here. Let me see. Oh, see, a lot of y'all don't know this. A lot of y'all don't know this. Like, I talked a little bit about that. I talked about my marriage a little bit. I was married for almost 25 years, y'all. A lot of y'all don't know that. And, and, and the post is long. It's about five minutes. So make sure y'all check that out. Uh, make sure if you'd like to support, then you send some love to this is my Venmo or my cash app and then my um my uh Zelle and PayPal is the same it says what she wants at gmail.com if you want to send it that way um 
But yeah, make sure y'all send some love. Make sure y'all pray for me. I appreciate y'all. Let me see. Let me put this post up for y'all. And it's probably going to take like two minutes to um, to post because it is fairly long. It is fairly long. Comedian Sean Harris, how are you? Mm. Let's see how long it's going to take to post. If anybody has any questions, I'll answer y'all questions before I go. For the men that have trouble opening up emotionally to people, how do you suggest they initiate a conversation that sometimes is the hardest? Sometimes it's the fact that you have to fill out people like, you know, that you can actually talk to. Um, a lot of times people, it's not only because you guys know what I do, it's just that I'm, I'm the people navigator, right? And so I'm able to, um, you guys feel comfortable with me and comfortable enough to open up to me because, um, you know, it's like I have that inviting spirit. I come with love and warmth and I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm not going to bullshit you. So you come to me because you know, I'm going to give you straight answers. If you need to book a session with me, go ahead and text that number in my bio or click the link in my bio and it'll take you to my website where you can book an appointment. So it's just, you know, um, finding those people that you could actually trust. And I know that sometimes people break your trust and it's hard to open up again, but you can't keep it stuffed down. So a lot of times people will want to talk to someone that my girl just came in here. Love Samantha. Hi, honey. How are you, sis? I'm gonna be on here for a couple more minutes and I'm getting off of here. How is my honey? Um, but yeah, so that's the reason why a lot of people, they will, um, Thank you, Colin. I, I appreciate you. A lot of people will go to a therapist or a counselor or someone that will allow them do, to do a venting session because they don't want the people around them to to know uh, what's going on with them because they have betrayed their trust. They've opened up to them and they've been belittled, belittled or they've been downgraded or they try to downplay things or they try to make them feel like they're soft or they're, or they're simple for it. And so that's um, that's a, another reason why people uh, book my services or, or, or get a session with me because... A lot of times, um, the people around them are not trustworthy because they've broken that trust. Hey, Sam, how are you, honey? How are you? It was another question. I love your content. I just want to know what inspired you to advocate for men in today's society. I've been doing this um, for about six years, and I started off with the um, physical intimacy, of taking care of the physical intimacy of the man first. So I would talk about how it's important for women to be able to please their men and, and because there's so much about men needing to please their woman, right? But there was so little about women needing to please their man. So I started off on that first. And then for the last about five, about four years, I've been talking about the man overall, as far as us needing to cater to you guys, us needing to make sure we uplift and support and encourage uh, the great men in our lives. And it's not that you guys have to be perfect. Ladies, they do not, they can't be perfect. Nobody's perfect, right? But if he is treating you well and he's holding up his end of the deal, he, of course, he's going to have moments. He's human, right? But if he's really over across the board, like treating you well, like then do go above and beyond for him. Go above and beyond for him. For real. Like so do everything that he wants and needs you to do because he deserves it. What does Sam say? Not just women, not just men. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. All across the board. Yep. It's true, sis. So and, and so the reason why I do what I do is because I feel like so there go my baby legs. How are you, honey? I was just thinking about you today. Um, so many times, you know, us as women, we fail to dig out our stuff because we always get a pass, right? We always get a pass and we always get people in our lives or, or, or ever since ever since adolescence and childhood where, where it's like, oh, we got to baby her. We got to coddle her. Oh, we got to pick her up. We got to, you know, like, like we get certain treatment, right? So what happens is then as an adult, we think we're entitled. We think we're supposed Dr. Boyce Watkins in the building. How are you, friend? I appreciate you so much, sir. I appreciate you sending love and to you and your family. And, and so it's like so many times us as women, we fail to dig out our shit, right? Hey, a change is coming. We fail to dig out our shit. And so we go through things as a, from as a child. And a lot of women have been essayed. A lot of women have had um, um, things happen to them that shouldn't have. Then we go into adolescent years and you're insecure with your body for the most part. You're insecure with speaking up. You're insecure about certain things or things that happened to you in adolescent years. Then you become an adult and you get with this great man or you get with this man that's, that's working on, on, on making himself a great man. And what happens is we end up pointing the finger at him and because we have not dug out our stuff. We end up in this psychological 
turmoil, right? And, and the only thing that we know to do is either act out in anger, point the finger at them, or 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 or, or, or go into uh, depression or anxiety mode. And so we end up in this cycle of not treating the men around us good because we're we actually have this internal turmoil going on that we haven't dealt with. So. Long story short, that is the reason why I do what I do, because I, I, I want us as women to really be able to to um, be mindful of, of the men in our lives, to be mindful of what they go through, to be mindful of the weight that they carry, to be mindful of how to actually treat them good and to be mindful to not sit up here and take something minute and blow it up and to be mindful about the fact that they are human. They're going to uh, make decisions that aren't so good sometimes. That doesn't mean you get to just cut them off. like that that doesn't mean to just um throw them away like don't throw away the baby with the bath water you know like just because he did something like allow him to redeem himself allow him to go through that that humanistic process allow him to go through that psychological process to get himself back on track but what happens is when the man ha ha has fallen off the train track y'all will sit up there and just keep on pushing him over keep on talking shit to him keep on talking bad about him you talk to your family about him. you go to work talking about him but yet you never even look on the inside of, of, of what's going on with you i need a shirt hat or look or with your logo it's coming. It's coming. Yes, men make mistakes. Stop expecting him. Dr. Boyce, can you go live real quick? <laughs> yes, exactly. Because none of us are perfect. But but yet men are always, they're always um, looked upon. Oh, thank you, Suave. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Men are always looked upon as, as, as the ones that have to be perfect. They have to walk this straight and narrow. And oh my gosh. God forbid that, you know, they have a moment or they've been sleep deprived because they don't work 60 or 70 hours for your ass to pay your bills and make sure they show up for you psychologically and in that bedroom. But yet they get no fucking grace. Give a man some space and, and grace. Give him some space and grace. For real. Like a lot of y'all don't, you, you say you love him, but yet on the flip side of that, you give everybody else space and grace, right? You forgive everybody else, but yet the minute he do one thing, here you come. Here you come with your mouth. Here you come blaming him. Here you come pointing the finger. Why don't you get to the root of it? See, I'm a root puller. What? Oh, God. Okay, Dr. Boyce couldn't join. What is it that caused him to get to that point? A lot of y'all be thinking that it's the tone that he carries with you. think it's about the tone, but then you don't listen to the message. A lot of times they be so fed up that, that they done told you calmly. They done texted it. They done sent a motherfucking telegram. They done sent memes. They done sent videos. And you don't get it. So therefore, he's frustrated and he ends up lashing out. He yells at you or he has a certain tone. And here you come. Oh, my God. You playing the victim. But you ain't paying attention to him. All these four and five venues and avenues that he done used to sit up there and tell you what the fuck is going my nephew my blood nephew in here jay Jones in the building hey baby um you ain't even took the time you have not taken the time to figure out what the root cause of it is you have not asked him if he's okay you he might be sleep deprived and you don't even know he might be sex deprived oh we don't even want to get on that one we don't even want to get on that because y'all be sitting there wanting the wedding and the ring but yet you won't even fuck them after you get it Ooh. That's a word right there. He's sleep deprived. He ain't got no emotional support. He ain't, he ain't, you ain't sucked him and fucked him in months, but yet you need him to pay them bills. You need him to show up for you emotionally. You need him to show up for you when it comes to that depression that you're going through and that anxiety that you're going through, huh? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to just go ahead and stop preaching right there. That's a sermon in and of itself. I'm not against y'all. I'm for y'all. Don't shoot the messenger. Fix your shit, bitch. And if you get offended by me calling you bitch, then have a good day and unfollow. Have a very great day. What's up, bro? I told him they gotta get ready for us. But yeah, y'all, that was a sermon in and of itself. I appreciate y'all. Love you. I'm about to post this live too. They said, no, nah, keep on preaching, auntie. What y'all want me to preach about? I got you. <laughs> I got to go 
take care of some stuff. I appreciate. Yes. Okay. Somebody's asking about the merch, bro. They're asking. They want some stuff with my logo and stuff on it. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna like the stuff that. Um, I'm not crazy about it, but you know, my people are like, oh, well, yes, it's good. Go ahead and put it out. So we're going to do what we got to do. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I'll be back. And make sure you go look at that post that I just put. It's like five minutes long, y'all, but it's worth it. It's it's worth it. Go, go. Yep. I told him already. Y'all going to meet my bro, Lair, in just a little while. We're going to regroup. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all in a minute.